Hi, this is Daria Shabbat with CorporateProfile.com. Next to me is Michael Norman, Chief Economist of John Thomas Financial. Hi, Michael. How are you? I'm great, Daria. Thanks uh, for having me. Oh, of course. Thank you for being here. Now, Michael, I want to talk to you about some internal issues in the U.S. Obama's health care plan went through. Right. What are your opinions on that? Well, my opinion is that, um, look, the, I, you've got to understand that the most important capital of any nation is the human capital, right? Human beings. You have to, without human beings, nothing gets done. There's no innovation. Nothing gets built. So, I mean, taking care of your human capital and ensuring that you have a vibrant, healthy stock of human capital should be the first priority of any nation, right? Mm -hmm. So, with uh, Obamacare, we know that 30 or 40 million Americans now will have access to health care. Those people didn't have access to health care before. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be largely the private sector delivering that health care. So it's not going to be like you're going to a government hospital or something. It's going to be the same hospitals, the same doctors. And the government's going to kick in a large amount of that money, about a trillion dollars kicked in. And so people who maybe don't have enough income to afford the health care, you know, it is mandated. You have to have it. I know a lot of people talk about it as a tax, but it's not. The government will be picking up a fairly large portion of that. So mm -hmm. I think all in all, it's it's a good thing that it happened. The only thing we have to ask ourselves is, you know, um, what people need really is the health care. You don't need insurance. You need the health care. So right. why are we giving a trillion dollars to insurance companies? Because at the end of the day, they're going to be the ones who decide what treatments, what medications, what doctors. So we kind of have to cross our fingers and hope that the insurance industry is looking out for our well-being, okay? And I mean, they are private businesses, they're in business for profit. So that was the, the one uh, aspect of it that I would question. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's great that everybody's gonna have health care. I think that's a really important thing, uh, but it's, it's kind of like a, a bailout or a giant subsidy to the health insurance industry. So what do you think are the economic implications in general and the political implications? Is Obama gonna win the elections now, do you think? Well, um, he's getting a, a positive bump off of the passage or the uh, being upheld by the Supreme Court. Um, I think it's going to go down to the wire. The economy and jobs are going to be very important. Um, longer term, I think it'll be very positive for the economy. I mean, it's certainly going to be positive for the health care sector of the economy, right? Because now you're going to have this, uh, this injection of a, a lot of money people having access or the demand for health care services is going to go up. So it's going to create jobs in that sector. We know, you know, uh, mm -hmm. doctors and nurses and health technicians and, and medical technology companies. So that's going to be very positive. Is it a tax? No, it's not a tax. Because what is a tax? A tax is when the government takes money away from us, right? And that money goes out of the economy. This, you could say, is like more of a redistribution. We're going to have to pay for our health care. In some cases, maybe the government's going to pay. But the money stays in the economy. Mm -hmm. So it's not a tax. It kind of changes the way the economy looks. More investment in the area of you know, health and, and health care services, um, which, again, I think is a positive because at the end of the day, people stay healthier. They're able to work longer, they're more productive, the mm -hmm. economy grows, so I, I see it as a positive. I see it as a positive too, but do you think the transition until we achieve those results that we're talking about, like how long will it take? Will it be a smooth transition or are we going to be in a situation where we are paying for our health care but not getting what we, are, what we were promised in return? Well, that's a great question and I mean that goes back to what I mentioned earlier mm -hmm. that basically you're giving a lot of money to insurance companies to decide right. what you know, treatments we're going to get. That's kind of scary. Uh, a little bit, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, uh, for-profit businesses, their number one priority, right, is to make a profit. So uh, there could be some cutting of corners. Uh, my sense is that um, if you look at the industry uh, that we have now in terms of health insurance industry, the care in the United States, I mean, is still the best care that you're going to find anywhere in the world. So will, will there be some, uh, you know, companies that might want to cut corners or whatever? There might be. But I mean, overall, in general, I would say that the level of health care 
that we're going to see in the United States is mm -hmm. still going to stay among the, the, the best in the world. And now with more people having access to that, don't forget too that a lot of people who didn't have health care, what happened, what did they do when they got sick? They went to the emergency rooms, right? Huge and cost. Yeah, yeah, it's a huge cost. That's one of the main factors in the high cost of, of uh, health care. Mm -hmm. And you're not getting the best uh, treatment there when you're going to the emergency room because when you go to the emergency room, that's the sickest, you know, you, you probably you feel. Yeah. Uh, and now if people have the ability to have uh, preventative care, right, and, and uh, take care of health issues before they become very serious and very grave, um, then I think, you know, that's a really positive thing, you know, uh, that the so. people don't have to rely on going to the emergency rooms. I mm -hmm. think that's a very positive thing. So yeah. the rollout, look, the full program doesn't go into effect till 2014, I right. think. Um, but we're already starting to see some benefits. And the other thing is that, um, you know, people with pre-existing conditions now, they're going to be able, they're not going to be excluded. They're going to be able to have health care. So I think that's also very important. So right. net, net, I, I think it's, uh, it's a good thing. Michael, thank you so much for sharing your views with us. Very insightful. It was my pleasure, Daria. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thanks again. I'm Daria Shabbat with CorporateProfile.com. I just spoke to Michael Norman, Chief Economist of John Thomas Financial. Thank you for watching and please tune in again for more hot financial news and interesting interviews.